From the conversations we've been having with clients, there are four principal areas of concern. The first one is the impact of Brexit on their people. To what extent are they going to be able to continue to recruit from the European Union? What effect would it have in terms of the stress on their current workforce? And to what extent will it diminish their talent pool going forwards? The next area is commercial contracts, the impact that Brexit will have on specific clauses, things like geographical indications for example. The third area is in terms of the regulatory framework they operate under. So if you're a financial services business, you'll be concerned about the extent to which you'll be able to have continued access to the single market and to what extent the European Union and the UK's regulatory regimes in financial services are going to start to diverge. The fourth area is in relation to supply chains. If you're a manufacturing business, you're going to be deeply concerned about about border checks, additional bureaucracy, and additional costs in importing goods and services from the European Union. But our advice to them really is to treat Brexit like a large-scale project. Pull together a core team focused on Brexit, start to engage with stakeholders across the business, and then start to put into place risk assessments, contingency plans, and mitigation steps to cope with those risks.